What is going on guys welcome back in this video today we're going to learn how and why to use base64 encoding in python so let us get right into it all right so we're going to talk about base64 in this video today and we're going to also learn how to use python to encode and decode data using base64 but before we go into the code, I would like to talk a little bit about Base64 in general, how it works behind the scenes. And for this, we can open up the Wikipedia page and uh, the way it works is quite simple. So what we have is we have sequences of bytes. Now, remember one byte is eight bits. So if we have one byte, that is the same as having eight bits and one bit is either zero or one. So if you have eight bits, something like, this, that would be eight bits, that would be one byte. Now I can also have three times eight bits. So if I have something like this, this should be eight, right? This, this. So those are now three times eight bits. So three times eight bits or three bytes. Now, those three bytes now, those 24 bits essentially, can now be represented also as chunks of six bits. So we can take the first six bits, which are these, then we can take the next six bits, and then we can take the next, and then we can take the final, and that would now be six times uh, four bits, oh, or actually four times six bits, sorry. Um, and this is basically what ASCII does. It takes 24 bits. So it's, um, this is also what the Wikipedia page says. Uh, it represents binary data, more specifically a sequence of eight bit bytes in sequences of 24 bits. So we take bytes, we take three bytes in a row. We represent them as 24 bits, but then we represent them as four six bit base 64 digits. And why do we do that? Because we have this table down below here uh, that essentially allows us to represent these six bit uh, streams or six bit bit combination uh, combinations as characters. So six times zero would be a uh, three times zero, three times one would be H and so on. And that is how base 64 essentially works. So in this case, what do we have here? We have one zero one one zero one one zero one one zero one. That would be a T. So this is how we would represent this first six bit combination. And then we would do the same for the next one. And then we would get something like T and so on and so forth. I'm going to make up something right now, which is definitely not correct. Something like this maybe uh, would be the base 64 encoding of this uh, of, of these three bytes essentially. Now the question is, why do we do that in the first place? Why do we care about taking some bits or bytes and representing them as characters? The reason is because base 64 encodes binary data and turns it into text data. Because oftentimes, uh, when you have binary data, we're not talking now about simple messages, we're talking about images, executables, uh, or complex binary files, or even simple binary files. Uh, they have some bits and bytes, or actually some bytes that are not um, that cannot be represented using text. So sometimes when you send them over a specific protocol, certain bytes might be interpreted as actions like uh, escape characters or do something specific because you encountered this byte. And oftentimes we don't want this to be the case. So uh, we want to have something that we can transmit via text because oftentimes protocols are meant to transmit text and not byte streams. So for example, the mail protocol is actually uh, so mailing protocols are actually used to transmit text and not images or other byte data. So when we want to transmit something, we have to first encode it into text, uh, which is what base 64 is used for. In general, when we stream something over sockets uh, or over the network in general, most protocols or at least some protocols don't allow you to uh, transmit bytes directly. They want to transmit text. And if you transmit bytes, it kind of works, but then it might mess up the system because the protocol um, is not suited for interpreting bytes. That's the basic idea. So uh, let's get into the code now. If I say import base64, this is a core Python module. We don't need to in, uh, install anything here. Uh, I can now just go ahead and take a text, a simple text, and encode it as base64. Now, this is obviously not the use case because we already have text. 
why would I encode it into other text? But um, we can do that here as an initial example, and then we can take an image uh, and we can uh, encode this image here. So let's just say we have my text and my text is going to be hello world. Now what I want to do with this text is first of all, I want to encode it so that it is in byte form. So I want to take the text, uh, not test, actually text my text and I want to encode my text using ASCII, for example. Now ASCII, I have this open up here as well. This is just a simple table taking a character like H, for example, would have the representation 48 in hex or 72 in decimal. Uh, so we turn this into bytes and then we take those bytes and we encode them as base 64 by saying my text B64, for example, is base 64, B64 encode my text. And that should then give me some base 64 encoded message, which is this one here. So this is base 64 now and I can then transmit it. And if someone gets it, they can take this and they can just say B64 dot uh, or base 64 dot B64 decode my text B64. And then you would see that we get hell world here as a result. Again, now keep in mind, this is not encryption. This is not in any way making something secure or secret or anything. There's no encryption involved here. All we're doing is we're encoding. So everything you encode with base 64, everyone can decode it. If you take a password, you encode it with base 64, every single person can just go ahead and say decode it and they can see the clear text password. There's no secrecy here. And that is also not the use case of base 64. So base 64 is not meant to keep anything secret here. Uh, it's just an encoding so that you can send something as a text. Um, so that is essentially how it works now. Uh, let me just open up here my file explorer on the second screen and I'm going to grab some basic image. I'm going to grab my uh, channels profile picture. So I'm going to call this image.jpg. This is now just a neural nine logo here. Uh, and I'm going to take this image now and I'm going to write it as base 64. Again, we can of course use Python to just write this as bytes directly. We can just uh, copy this and so on. And we can then uh, write it into so we can write it, we can read it and we can write it again, it doesn't really matter for Python. But if we want to transmit this, for example, through a protocol that only supports text or is only meant to support text, uh, we should encode this as base 64. So of course, in Python, I can just go ahead and say image JPEG open in reading bytes mode, SF, and then I can go ahead and say, uh, data equals f dot read, then I have all the image data. And of course, I can just open up a second byte stream, I can say image two dot JPEG, a new one, write bytes as F. And I can say data, or actually F dot write data. That's no problem, of course, I can do that directly, I don't need base 64 for that, you can see that worked. But that is again, not the use case of base 64. What we have to do here is we have to send an image, for example, uh, via mail, or we have to, what is it doing now do refactor it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't have to, we have to send this image, for example, through a mail protocol that does not support bytes or through some other protocol that might be uh, that might get messed up if you send some bytes that it doesn't understand. So we want to send the predictable 64 base 64 bytes. So this table here, we want to send those characters because every mail protocol will be able to parse uh, the basic um, characters ABC and so on the basic alphabet, uh, some numbers and two special characters here. This is not uh, too difficult. By the way, this equal signs, uh, this equals sign here stands for padding, meaning that if you have some space that is not filled up yet, if you have some bits missing, you can just use the equal sign to fill it up with some padding. Um, but yeah, so what we can do here, if we want to transmit this, because if I just go ahead now and print data, this is what it looks like. So we have a bunch of bytes here, that uh, some of them might mess up the protocol. So what we want to do here is we want to take those bytes, and we want to turn them into base 64. So we're going to just go ahead and say, base 64, b 64 encode data. And then we get this base 64 string. So I can just copy this now. Hopefully, how long is this? Okay, I'm going to use uh, no, this was not good. There you go. Copy. Uh, so I have this string essentially now. 
and you can see all of this string is just the predictable base 64 characters. Nothing in here will mess up a text based protocol because it only has uh, simple letters, it has simple numbers, and it has slash and plus. I don't even think that we have, oh, we do have numbers here, two, for example. Um, so, of course, in Python, I could also just copy the byte stream that we saw before. So, I can also just go ahead and copy the data and paste it into another Python script and then run this. Uh, but remember, we're not talking about doing all of this locally. We're sending this via a protocol that is meant to transmit text. So we want to send this here. And then the other side, what the other side can do is I can delete all of this here. And I can say, for example, transmitted data is this here. So uh, let me just go here. So this would be the string that we get as transmitted data via uh, some protocol that is text based. So this is what we get from a socket. This is what we get from 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 an endpoint. Uh, and now we can go ahead and decode this into bytes again. So I can say data equals now base 64 b 64 decode transmitted data, and then I would get these bytes again that I had in the first place. So I, I transmitted text, but I now also have bytes here on the second endpoint on the other side. Uh, and I can go ahead and say now, with open copy of image.jpg in writing bytes mode sf f dot write data. And then you can see, I have the image here again. So to emphasize this again, the purpose of base 64 is not to keep something secret to encrypt something. It's also not uh, the purpose to just do something locally, because you can just write the bytes directly, the purpose is to transmit data as a text. Because as we saw the data, if we just take it without encoding, it's just raw bytes, some of those bytes might be interpreted in a unfortunate way by certain protocols, we don't want to transmit raw bytes, we want to encode them as text, because then we can send it without any uh, concerns, we can send it through text based protocols. On the other side, you can then decode the text into bytes again, and then you can use them uh, to write the image, for example, or to copy the image. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.